been suspended for his part in a stick swinging incident in Detroit on Friday night. And uh, forward Brent Ashton is joining his eight NHL team. Ashton was traded by the Winnipeg Jets to the Boston Bruins this morning for Finnish winger Petri Skriko. And pressure on Quebec Nordique general manager Pierre Paget to trade Eric Lindros continues to mount. Lindros, seen here playing with Team Canada, refuses to join the Nordique even though they drafted him. Today, Nordique captain Joe Sackick, who is in the middle of a contract negotiation session with the team, says his teammates feel Lindros must be traded. The Nordiques have only one victory this season, and Paget is already getting pressure from the fans and media to make some moves. Lindros, meantime, is joining our Canadian Olympic team, and he'll be in their lineup when they play the Oilers at the Coliseum next month. Well, speaking of the Oilers, they hit the ice tomorrow night at the Coliseum against Brett Hull and the St. Louis Blues. Our broadcast on Oldies 1260 will be on the air at 710. And tonight, we continue our in-depth look at the new Oilers on the roster. Dave Manson became an Oiler in the surprise Steve Smith deal, and he came to Edmonton on short notice and is just now beginning to settle into his new surroundings. Lisa Miller introduces us to this new young defenseman. <laughs> The trade that brought Dave Manson to Edmonton was just about as jarring as getting hit by Joel Otto. Manson was traded to the Oilers just the day before the regular season started, and just before his wife was due to deliver their first child back in Chicago. Dave was able to leave the Oilers during their first road trip, long enough to witness the birth of Joshua David. It was good career-wise for David. I was glad that he was going somewhere else, but it was bad timing because it was nice if he would have been around for everything. But he ended up to be there in the end, so it worked out good. Trade rumors were nothing new to Dave. They'd been circulating for more than a year. And usually they say when they're talking about you, that's when you're safe, but not so in his case. And, you know, it's it's tough. It just makes you realize that sometimes hockey is a business instead of, a, a, you know, a sport and something for the fans. At six foot two, 200 pounds, Dave's not the biggest guy on the ice, but he doesn't shy away from the physical part of the game. And along with that part of the game comes a nickname, Charlie. Well, that also, uh, that just, you know, goes with my last name, I think, and uh, <laughs> it's something that Ben Wilson kind of stuck on me in my first year at training camp. So does this mean you don't mind the nickname or you can't shed it? As long as people don't take the uh, wrong impression of me that because of that nickname, then it's fine. There is a soft side to this, Charlie. I mean, Dave Manson. In the Chicago Blackhawks media guide, he lists his favorite movie as Gone with the Wind. Well, that's just something I watched it when I was a kid, and it's stuck with me through my through my life, you know. And uh, it's a very good movie, you know. And they they ask a lot of a lot of things, you know, music and everything like that. And a lot of people are surprised to find that I like country music too. That choice of music isn't too surprising, considering Manson's roots in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. The taste in music may be traditional, but this cowboy is a contemporary father. He's around quite a bit. Yeah, helps out a lot. Gets up and sees you in the middle of the night. <laughs> Manson is yet another young player, hoping to bolster this youthful club. At 24 years of age, he's already been selected to play in an all-star game. He is expected to provide some leadership help the younger guys out because I am young myself but I have a few years experience and I can you know I can help with what I've learned a little bit and as well I can learn from guys like Kevin Moore and Craig Newman. He has a different attitude in hockey, he's more happy, more relaxed, he's enjoying it a lot more. Another player enjoying his new surroundings is new order tough guy Louis DeBrusque. We'll meet him tomorrow. Lisa Miller, CFRN, Eyewitness Sports. Well, it was certainly party day in both Atlanta and